Hey everyone, happy St. Patty's Day. Um, today I'm gonna make a Irish dish. It's called Colcannon. And even though I am part Irish, uh, I kind of grew up with Japanese food, so I don't really know anything about Irish food except that it has potatoes in it. Um, so pretty much this is, it's a blend of creamy mashed potatoes and you can add in um, cabbage or kale, um, bacon, ham, milk, butter, whatever you like. It's, um, it's a side dish so you can serve it with um, sausage or corned beef or chicken or whatever. So if you're interested in that, just keep on watching. Okay, I just found out that um, my dad used up the last of the potatoes. So instead of potatoes, I'm going to substitute in cauliflower. So if you just steam the cauliflower and puree it, it's going to taste exactly like um, potatoes. And trust me, it's going to be good. It's kind of like a low calorie version now. I'm also, oh, also I'm going to add some rutabaga because I want to get rid of it. If you don't like rutabaga and you don't know the taste of it, I think um, just stick with the cauliflower because it's going to taste more like um, mashed potatoes. So I have a head of, um, one head of cauliflower and I'm just going to cut into florets. And I have about um, a quarter of a rutabaga, rutabaga, I don't know, rutabaga or something. All you need to do is just cut up into uh, small pieces. And you just want to thinly slice the cabbage. And just kind of break up the leaves so they're all separate. I'm just going to add my vegetables into my pressure cooker. You can use a double boiler or anything to just steam the vegetables. This just takes um, two minutes. So do it on um, high pressure for two minutes. All you need is half an onion. So you want to just cook your onions first. So I just added some chicken stock that I made um, last night, and this is just because I don't really like using a lot of oil. So I'm just going to add some cabbage now. What would also be better if you could like maybe roast the onions and cabbage, as well as the cauliflower and rutabaga. It would have um, a nicer flavor, but like I said, I don't really like using oil, so this is probably like the most healthiest way you could do it. Oh, also add in the garlic. And then just add some salt and pepper. So now that my um, cauliflower and rutabaga are steamed, I'm just going to blend it. Now I'm just going to add some chicken bouillon to give it some flavor. And now just add the cabbage and onions. And instead of bacon or ham, I'm just going to add some turkey. And if you don't want to use rutabaga, just pure cauliflower is fine. And I find that just the cauliflower actually tastes like mashed potatoes. So, And that's the final dish. I added some chopped green onions and some toasted pepitas and sunflower seeds. And pepitas are just the shelled pumpkin seeds. And I'm also serving it with um, grilled chicken on top of sautéed kale. And that's just parmesan. Alright guys, this is what it looks like. Um, I think if you just used the cauliflower, it wouldn't have such a yellow look to it. That's because of the root of it. Alright guys, here goes. This is really good. It's really, really creamy. You know, I don't even think I'm going to make mashed potatoes with potatoes anymore. And I think the only thing that's missing in this dish is some good old beer. So, come pie guys. 
Mm. Apple juicy.